everybody, it's Sophie and Marco, dishing out on the movies. Sophie, wipe off your nose. God, talk about the 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 coronavirus, and you get fucking wipe just, it off. It's very cold here. Got some... I just went outside, and my nose starts to run when it's cold. Yeah, we don't have any heat, so which. Well, I turned the furnace on. It's making some kind of smell, and since we're moving out. In about a week or so, I figure I'm not, for, I'm not gonna call. It's supposed to warm up a little bit, so. Well, anyway, uh, you also bit your tongue because you were, like, I don't know, like. I don't know what happened. You were writing. You were. Tongue is killing me. Yeah, you were writing your subspecies girl fan fiction, and you were just chomping at the bit to get to the parts where she turns you into a vampire. And then, uh, you guys meet with, uh, Vlad the Impaler and stuff. And then all of a sudden you're like, ow! And not you bit your tongue. Not story just to tell a dumb story that's not even true. So. Safi, I know all about your fan fiction. Oh, God. I know I all that. about it. I know all about it. Why don't we just, uh, he's trying to, uh, divert from talking about the movie because this movie is so bad. Well, it, I wouldn't even consider it an actual movie. And there's hardly anything to talk about. Like, we well, are let's sell them the name of the movie so well, they'll avoid it like the plague. Well, let's see. I just want to make sure we had one, two, three, four. So this is our sixth full moon movie. It is Corona Zombies, and this movie, you know, I really think that you should put watch this movie. Or, or like clips of it or like the first 10 minutes and then turn it off and then go back and watch the greatest full moon movie Puppet Master 3 and take those two movies and compare them and ask yourself what happened to full moon features <laughs> because that's that's the that's to me this movie is just a testament to how bad full moon has gotten to how shitty their movies have gotten, to how lazy they've gotten, because like it, it's so weird. It, it's like this with like every single small film thing that happens. Like instead of every movie progressively getting bigger and bigger and getting more money to do more, it feels like with every independent movie, like they just get less and less. And it's like, oh, this time we couldn't have more than one actor. And oh, next time maybe like, oh, we'll just not have any actors. <laughs> and we'll draw pictures on pieces of paper or something. Like, I, I'm just so sick of this, like, scrapbook filmmaking where they're either copying and pasting parts of other good movies or they're copying and pasting all these little stupid things to make their own movie even though they didn't even make it like with this movie where 98% of the movie is clips from two other movies uh, that which actually one of the movies looked really really good like they had these great effects they had this one where like there was an old woman zombie and there was, like, a, a cat that came out of her stomach hole. And then there was, like, these other zombies at the end and these other great gore effects. And I thought, this movie looks awesome. And then they had some other movie called Zombie Strippers or something. <laughs> and that also looked better than this. Because this was just an hour of, ha, 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 ha. Isn't this hilarious because we we know all these current jokes to make about the you know what like it, it's like oh toilet paper stimulus package uh distancing it's like it's just yeah. so st stupid well, everything. it's so dumb it's like even stupider than the people who actually like try to force people to do all that stuff like with the Marvel? You know, the vaccines and everything. Like, to me, like, this movie is just as bad as, like, those shitty-ass commercials where they're like, 
you need to do your part and get the experimental vaccine. Like, that's what this movie is. It's like an hour of cringe. It's just an hour of complete cringe trash. And to be honest, like, I'd, I fast-forwarded through most of the movie because I thought, I'm not going to spend an hour watching this shit, Safi. I, I watched the whole thing because... You used it as background noise, though. It was uh, so horrible. Yeah. And there were other little jokes in it, too, that Marco wasn't familiar with. Like, they were the stupid. name of the movie is called Corona Zombies. I was thinking Corona was referring to the sun. So some Because Corona is usually referred to as the sun in some manner, like in a poem or you know, a, a, a story, and uh, so that's what I was thinking was something about a jungle with uh, uh, corona, I mean, maybe they, their symbol, they had a symbol that was the sun, and I had no idea this was about the coronavirus, you know, we're still dealing with that in no, some not. way, yes we are, no, because I have, actually have a buyer who's been in the hospital, with so, that, that, that's extremely rare. Get off of no, it. No, it isn't extremely so, rare. I, Marco is anyways, saying false information. But no, anyway, I'm not. The, the, what isn't false is how bad the movie is. And it was just, I don't even know what to just, it was just, it's like, it's worse than even a high school project. It's it, just awful. The one question that I have is, is it worse than the you know what Christmas movie? You know, the one that we can't even say the name because the the bitch filmmaker, she oh, likes to delete people's reviews. You know, like... Yeah, we just saw that, yeah. Because to me, summer. I know that, you know, Charlie Band, he, <laughs> he won't delete this review or copyright claim it like a bitch uh, like her. But at the same time, like, she did put more effort into making a movie than him making this trash where he took all this old footage and dubbed over it with these stupid jokes that like they could have been funny jokes and I I was actually really excited for this movie at first because I thought you know somebody could have done something really creative and they could have made like a really funny comedy a, a horror movie that people could watch while they're inside and they could have lots of fun and instead it's like this this stupid just trendy irrelevant movie like this movie is already irrelevant like the way that it's it's so dated it's so I mean he made this in like three days or something like that's the thing when you make a movie like this it gets dated yeah fast I mean maybe the next day even it's it's just any any movie of any kind that has a lot of references to, and I know how can you ignore when over half a million people are killed? But they don't interest anything. Like it's just it's not it's not a political. It's not an informational. It's just stupid. It's a stupid movie. Yeah. And it's just uh, and you can tell it's dub. It's really bad. And I thought I thought it was in a foreign country or something so but it was it was it, oh, okay it was but i think they dubbed it in english as well before like the you know you have the, it just like with the italian movie uh but then it's like if they would take that italian movie and dub it over again but talk about something else like i don't know oh. jeffrey epstein <laughs> that'd be funny if they made like the horror of Jeffrey Epstein's island. And then they just dub over clips from that Italian movie, um, Tales from Erotica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I got confused. It's so funny. I keep saying I get, I'm confused, but it, the movie is kind of like two or three separate places. And you have these two valley girls talking to each other. One they show on camera, the other one they... She's talking to you on the phone, so you hear a phone voice, and it's California, because I can tell by the accent, and um, their, 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 the way they talk, their, um, their references, 
some of the things they say, how they say it, I can tell. So well, I just cringed at their terrible acting the whole movie. Oh, yeah. Like well, there was that too, but they're some of the I would say some of the worst actors we've seen in full moon history. There's like we're showing this, and then all of a sudden they go to this one thing where they have this uh, coronavirus team that uh, the but, corona but, team corona team and well no first they have a lab the lab gets overrun by uh, no that's the bat soup factory <laughs> i well, did was think at the beginning that was just, that was the same factory i think so i i think like see I that could have been so a good thing. idea it could have been a good idea like if you know even chinese people if they would have taken advantage and made like oh that's right it was china they could have made like a bat soup factory horror movie where like you know zombies start coming there and everything oh, like they never do that. that could have been really good mm -hmm. because you could just imagine like how gross that could be and how the effects they could have like zombie bats they could have like bats wake up inside the cans and like claw their way out and they're zombie bats and you know they could have done so much with that but that's the thing is that with a lot of these modern horror movies you're always talking about what they could do what they could have done what's lacking and you know it used to be where you talked about like how oh they should have cut that out they should have cut that out like it's become a thing now where movies are so basic and bare because the people making them are so uh, creatively bankrupt <laughs> and lazy. And, like, the people who made this movie, like, you know, you have to wonder, like, would you really want this movie on your resume at all? Like, it, it doesn't have anything to do with, like, this movie is insensitive. Like, you know, who cares? No, no, uh, no. That, nobody's going to talk about this movie seriously in any way. No, they did when it came out. <laughs> they, they cried and complained about it and said, They shouldn't be making this movie. Me. Oh, for God's and, sake. And somebody's it's like, going fuck to off. One of these it's, days. But I, when they just about, it, this isn't a movie. It's just a piece of crap. Yeah, like, that's the thing is that you don't even... It's just like with that Dahmer series, the the Dahmer BLM series, where they just took his life and made it a BLM story uh, for an agenda. It's just like with that, where you don't even need to complain that the, that the show existed or that this movie existed. You just need to look at the movie itself and say, like, this is really bad. Like, it's really pathetic, lazy, stupid, dumb. Just, it, it's it's horrible. And, you, you know, when I read Charlie Band's memoir, which was a pretty mixed bag, you know, like, it, it, it seemed like he didn't want to say a lot of stuff, and he, he mm -hmm. just wanted to say certain things. Mm hmm uh he he talked about like he opened up his book bragging about the making of this movie being this movie? yeah like saying like so the, the story begins with barbie she's in the shower but she has all of her clothes on isn't that hilarious <laughs> and and uh, so basically guys I had gotten this girl, Barbie, for three days. I had to shoot a full movie in three days about a current event. How am I going to do it? Am I going to pull it off? Am I some kind of superhero? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I kind of am because I'm Charlie Band. And, and he's like bragging about the making of this shitty-ass fucking movie. And then he's saying, he's posting... The reviews verbatim that people gave, where some people said, It's really, really good and fun. Oh my god, Corona Zombies, isn't this amazing? And, you know, that's another thing, is that there are people who actually love this movie. Mm. And that's how bitch-slapped horror fans are, is because horror fans don't get anything. There's no horror movies that even come out anymore. 
And so they'll settle for just like the stupidest shit on the planet. Including wow. this. I can't believe it. I mean, you, can, would have liked this. you can't even consider this a real movie. No. Not at all. Horrible. Don't waste your time. I had so much to do and I, I watched it. Because uh, that's what I'm supposed to do. But I was really, I did not like this movie. And it was just, um, you can tell. You know, the thing about dubbing, if you do it correctly, it doesn't look dubbing. You have to really look hard. But this movie, God, you didn't even have to look hard. And then that girl named Bar I forgot that they called her Barbie. Yeah, Barbie. And that's supposed to make fun of the Barbie doll. Barbie doll is supposed to be all kinds of professional uh, dolls. No, it's, that's just beautiful a, dolls. They're not making fun of Barbie. They're well, just... I, I, it's I, a stereotypical white woman name. Well, I am like... Well, maybe they should name her Karen. Oh, anyway. uh, you mean like Amityville Karen? Yeah, but I don't. I didn't like that. There was Sophie. a million things I didn't like. Sophie. The dubbing was horrible. The music was horrible. The music was fantastic, but the thing is, is that it's not meant for this movie. That music is from Dawn of the Dead, oh. the original Dawn of the Dead, and I guess it's public domain, so they took it and they they used it for really? this movie. And I thought, oh, like. That's another thing, is that, you know, you you could say, like, I couldn't make a real movie because my, my pandemic. Uh, but you could have gotten some guy to make some music in his fucking basement. John Carpenter made Halloween all by himself. He made all of his soundtracks all by himself in the fucking basement on a fucking synthesizer. And he did just fine. And if one person can do that, they could have had one person make original music for this movie. Mm. Fucking lazy asses. And that's another thing, though, Safi. It's time for you. It's time for you to apologize to the great Chauncey Phillips for no. his Amityville Karen. No. Because Amityville Karen was a lot better than this trash. Well... Because it was a it was okay actual yeah, it was movie. This movie was not a movie, and, we're, and I'm not gonna say it anymore because so, it's over. So say Ch sorry, Chauncey. No. Why not? No. Just leave Ch <laughs> Chauncey out of our reviews. Why you? not? <laughs> you say you sorry to Ch say, I'm not gonna do that. Say sorry, Chauncey. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if you said that. <laughs> yeah, a real joke. Okay, say sorry. No. Uh, no, say sorry to someone else. Like, sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't know, uh, and I'm just not going to do it, okay? So, just say sorry. Just avoid the movie. Say sorry. Don't even, don't, I'm not going to tell you to even watch it because it, you'll be wasting your time. If your time is as precious as mine, you don't want to waste it watching this movie, okay? It's not a movie. It's not good. But you do want to waste your time watching our awesome reviews because they're a lot better than this movie and they're a lot more original as well. And I don't think anybody in the movie survives. No, I, I think wrong. the Unless friend does. Girl. The friend. Oh, Barbie's yeah. friend. Probably, I guess. Yeah. I'm talking about... The teen that goes out and there's a couple of journalists. Oh, no, they all die. Yeah, that's what I and thought. That was another funny thing was you were talking about how one of them, he looked like some Greek... Yanni. Yanni. He well, looks exactly like Yanni. What, if it, does anybody know who Yanni is? Oh, what's funny it's is... a pan pipe guy. Charlie Band knows, and so in the cast list, he put the name for this character as Yanni. Oh. And so uh, I, I guess Johnny would like that too much. I I guess he he like named all the characters like funny, and I thought that's pretty funny. But other than that, like ugh, ugh. Now there used to be um, some people might have seen commercials. Uh, he 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 was married <sighs> a long time to uh, Linda Evans. From the uh, is it no is it Bonanza or 
with the uh, Barbara Stanwyck and there was the boys and it was a Western and he was, uh, he was with her for a long time. I think they were married. They had kids or a kid and he's a, he has these long black curly locks Sophie. and he plays pan pipes. We don't care about Yanni's life story. Well, this guy looked exactly like him. It was really weird and his name was Yanni in the movie and I thought, What's, what is going on here? Why are they doing that? It was well, I guess funny. it's for a joke. I guess so. Um, but anyway. I, I, I think Safi, I would, I you know, last night too, we watched a home movie, which was pretty terrible in some parts. In fact, it's really too bad that we can't uh, do that. You know, film commentaries of those. Uh, Nobody cares about our home movies. Yeah, that, yeah, that would that'd be funny. Um, yeah. For the most part, but you know, you'd have to cut out some parts that have uh, certain things that, you know, like the parts where you're like mowing the lawn and you're like, ah, ah, and you're acting like a corona zombie. But the point is, is that those home movies, they were so much fucking better than this. Like, even a home movie is better than this shit. It, even though, like, home movies, obviously, there's a reason they're called home movies. It's because they're so amateur and poor. Mm. Anyways, I would rate this movie in terms of food. You die. <laughs> I really don't know. Like, this, I wouldn't even, as I said, I don't even consider this a movie. It's It's just not good enough to consider as, like, anything. Uh, I, but I'm gonna give it a food rating regardless. Safi? Yeah, I know, I'm thinking. From Safi and Marco, Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't know. Um. Well, you can do something you've done before, that's what I'm gonna do. No, it, it has to be something with nothing. It has to be like something you go like, ooh, I'm not eating this trash. Well, that's what this was. So. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Well, there was one time recently where a certain someone in the house may got this uh, soup from DLM, uh, this market, and it was a bean soup. It had like thirteen types of fucking beans, mm. and it it was just thirteen beans with uh bean types with like a recipe on the back and it, it ugh, ugh. he even put extra beans in it and it was so disgusting he put like sausages and shit it it was so gross and and, and then when you poured it out into the bowl it was like this pile of bean goo it was like a pile of bean soup goo, and it was so gross. I, we didn't even eat it. What we did was we pretended to eat it, and then we got stuff to eat, like we pre-made stuff or hid stuff away, and then we just ate that instead after we pretended to eat the bean soup, yeah. and we threw that away. Remember that, Safi? Yeah. That's what this movie was. I couldn't bear it. Couldn't so, bear it. So, Safi, what's your rating? And uh, get your head up. I'm and just thinking. Speak Mark, up, because okay. it looks like you're gonna go to sleep. No, and I'm not going it's like you're cold to fucking, go to sleep. Fucking curling up into a ball like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. No, I'm cold. Um. Are you Sonic? Wow. Uh. <laughs> The only, only thing I can think of, I didn't think of that. You have to admit, a it's a one. good one. Well, it was just the time we went to Chili's, and we keep going back there oh. to get... Uh, they have a thing that they do every month that's a margarita of the month. The Five dollars. Five dollars, and, and it's Marco has tried it, and uh, he is 23, and uh, he loves it i mean and he so he can drink but anyway he doesn't really drink that much but he likes to try the margarita of the month and then we buy something and then after a while i can rank them yeah 
and they and they are. He seems to like them for the most part, like most of them. Yeah, they're so fun. That that isn't what we're talking about. But we have to buy something else. So I decide I would get their um, nachos with Everett loaded nachos. I guess. Oh, God, <laughs> it was. I don't know what happened. If they fell asleep at the stove. But the thing was burned to a crisp and all melt all over into like a flat piece of crap. <laughs> and I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't eat the bite of it. I was thinking like, it, are they are they serious? Yeah, like who would eat that? It it looked so bad, and I thought maybe I should have taken a picture because they always ask for a feel feedback. Yeah, they ask for it, and Safi never gives any negative feedback about I anything. I don't like. But that one, that there's just that's inexcusable. I mean, it was so bad. It's not like I didn't like the flavor. No, it was all stuck together. It was stuck together. It, it was, was a flat overcooked. Mess. It it was like the equivalent I of forgot about it. Of like, what if you poured liquid latex all over something and then it dried? Like you know how liquid latex, like you know. You know. I can't believe they gave that to me and wanted me to pay for it. Yeah, and she I paid for, pay it, for it, like ten bucks. Yeah, and it just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just shocked. I'm, I'm, I think about it now. I'm still shocked. So anyway, right. there's nothing. I haven't had yeah. anything that bad. The beans, at least, that was bad. But this is something I had to pay for. You know, and I didn't even see. I saw. I didn't see it. The thing is, the, I paid for it and didn't see it till I got home. Just and I was shocked. Just like my pandemic, the bean soup lasted a while. You know, it lasted like what three or four days. Yeah, we had to fake it for three or four days. We had to fake it. Yeah, Ugh. three or four days of faking it, uh, and 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 th- there could even be stories. Like food ratings of those food things, like with the mac and cheese that I reheated, Ugh, you oh. know, it, like I could even do food ratings with that. Or those Cheetos mac and cheese, or didn't you? Oh God, those things are vile. No, that was from when we did the the Puppet Master Axis shitty ass trilogy. Well, it still was. Ugh. Yeah. The, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sonic. So that's it. And um, uh, tonight uh, we're doing, we're watching a couple of uh, shows. We're, we're going to be watching Chucky and American Horror Story. So we will have two reviews from that. And uh, that's it. We still have a few more uh, New Moon. Uh, full Moon. Full Moon. New so Moon is Twilight. Full moon movies to watch for Halloween, and we'll be done with that. Yeah, it was kind of fun anyway to try it. It's good. It is good to try weird things that that don't get a lot of attention. Well, it's all free. It's all on Tubi, so it's, it's like, free. why not? Yeah. Why the fuck not? Okay. So that's it, everybody. And if you like our video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become our subscribers. We welcome you to the party. So thank you very much and goodbye. Bye-bye.